What's up, guys? Tanner Kern here. I'm one of the content creators at the Sports 2.0 Network. Thanks for joining me for today's video. As you can see, I don't even have an introduction for the video. I don't have no cool music or any cool graphics. I don't care about that for this video because I am so angry at the writers who vote for the MLB Power Rankings. This video didn't need it. I just need to get right in here and rant to you guys about the issues with the Week 7 MLB Power Rankings. I have three major issues uh, with the whole list. First of all, why are the Red Sox ahead of the Dodgers? Uh, second, the Giants should not be in the top five. And third, which is the biggest out of all these, how are the Yankees in seventh place? It doesn't make sense to me. How are the White Sox in third? We're going to get into that in a minute, but let's, let's start with the appetizer per se. Why are the Red Sox ahead of the Dodgers? Now, you can't prove this. The Red Sox are in the American League, Dodgers in the National League. They don't play each other. They haven't played each other. The Red Sox are seven and three in their past 10. Very good club. They're getting better by the week. But here's the thing about the Red Sox. They're going to finish the season in third or fourth in the American League East. So how are they second in the power rankings right now? Yeah, they're winning. I get it. Whatever. The Yankees are better than them. The Blue Jays are going to be better than them eventually. Maybe not. That's who they're going to be competing with for third place. And the Tampa Bay Rays are a team that are masters at doing more with less. They don't spend a lot of money, but they still find ways to win. And as you can see, they're surging right now. They have won 11 games in a row, and it doesn't look like they're going to stop anytime soon. So I don't think the Red Sox should be ahead of the Dodgers. I don't think the Red Sox should be ahead of the Chicago White Sox. Maybe. I don't know. But they definitely should not be ahead of the Los Angeles Dodgers. That is 100% certain. The Dodgers have won 12 of their past 14. Oh, yeah, they're doing this all without Cody Bellinger. I know I have a Dodgers shirt on right now. Do not get think I'm biased towards the Dodgers in any way. I am an unbiased baseball journalist. But here is the thing. The Dodgers are better than the Red Sox. You got Max Muncy hitting balls out of Oracle Park this past weekend, almost killing kayakers in the San Francisco Bay. We're going to talk about that right now. The Giants should not be in the top five. They should not be in the top five. They should not be one spot behind the Dodgers either. That's disrespectful to the Dodgers. The Giants should be seventh, eighth, or ninth right now. I know they have a good record. But when we were looking at this team heading into the season, now usually projections are right in some capacity. When you look at the Giants on paper, what what do they have on paper? Okay, they got a core that's been there for their World Series runs that are all old and washed up. You think Buster Posey is going to lead these guys to a title? You really think Buster Posey is going to lead these guys to a title? Brandon Crawford, Brandon Belt, you think those guys are going to do anything for the San Francisco Giants this year down the stretch? You're crazy. Giants are winning games with pitching. Kevin Guzman has been fantastic. The bullpen has been very good. Gabe Kapler is doing a phenomenal job managing this team. No doubt about it. But here's the thing. They're not good. Not good relative to the top two teams in the division. They started the weekend in first place in the National League West, and they ended the weekend in third place in the National League West after getting swept by the Los Angeles Dodgers. The laser show, the Los Angeles Lasers show, was present in San Francisco all weekend long thanks to guys like Max Muncy and Gavin Lux uh, sending a grand slam out of Oracle Park. The Giants are a third place National League West team. We need to stop. We need to give up this whole thing about how the Giants are going to be good. Here's what's going to happen in the National League. The Dodgers are going to win the division. The Padres are going to finish second. They're going to earn a wild card spot. And someone in the National League East is most likely going to get that third or that second wild card spot. Or in the Central. Who knows? The Central's better than we thought it was going to be. But the Giants are not good. Let's start giving, let's not let's give up on the Giants. They're not good. They got swept this weekend. They have played a cakewalk schedule, and the Dodgers proved that this weekend. Let's give up on the Red Sox. The Red Sox have a little better chance in the American League East, but the Savages in the Bronx are back, and the Red Sox need to watch out. And finally, how are the Yankees in seventh place? Let me ask you that. I don't know if you guys watched any of the games or uh, you know, check the scores from this past weekend. Obviously, the MLB writers who vote for these power rankings did not check those at all. Because the New York Yankees swept the Chicago White Sox this weekend. They swept them. And that included a 7 nothing win on Saturday afternoon with Garrett Cole on the mound. The Chicago White Sox looked like the Palm Beach Cardinals when Jacob deGrom was pitching this past weekend or two weekends ago in his rehab start. 
throwing 102 miles an hour and they could not hit the ball. That's what the Chicago White Sox looked like on Saturday. And to top it off, the White Sox had the game won on Friday night. The Yankees found a way to win. Walk-off win Friday night, thanks to Glaber Torres. Sunday, walk-off walk, thanks to Aaron Judge. The White Sox blew those games. Okay, the White Sox blew those games. The Yankees found a way to win, and the Yankees dominated them on Saturday. So you're telling me that a MLB power rankings list, that if a team sweeps a team, the day the power rankings come out, so the, the power rankings come out on Sunday night, the Yankees swept the White Sox Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and the power rankings come out Sunday night. You're telling me that when the writers sat down to vote for this, they really put the Yankees in seventh place and the White Sox in third after getting swept. And here's the thing. It's not like the Yankees are a, a dog water team by any means. They're 28 and 19 on the season. The White Sox are 27 and 19. Okay, and that's as of yesterday when the White Sox finished their game on Sunday, they were 26 and 19. Are you kidding me? MLB writers, are you serious? You're going to put the New York Yankees in seventh place and the Chicago White Sox in third? That's one thing. If you like the White Sox, so be it. If you think the White Sox have a better body of work than the New York Yankees in the past 10 games, whatever. That's fine. Put them in third place. But you know what? The, the Savages better be right behind them. To say there's a three-gap team between the Chicago White Sox and the New York Yankees is appalling to me after the Yankees beat them in three games. It's not like the White Sox won one of three. They got swept. The Yankees should not be in seventh place. That's the biggest problem I have with these power rankings. If you want to check out my written rant, uh, which is pretty much this this uh, this video rant in, in word form, head over to baseballspotlight.com, guys, and you can read that whole thing. Uh, and also, make sure you subscribe to the Sports 2.0 Network on YouTube. The videos are a little more fancy than this. Today, I just got on here and started ranting because I am so pissed off at these MLB power rankings because they are so biased. And the problem is they're not biased to the New York Yankees. The Yankees deserve to be higher than the White Sox. If you're going to put the White Sox ahead, put the Yankees right behind them. Not three not three teams before uh, the Yankees. That's embarrassing. Anyways, guys, subscribe to the Sports 2.0 Network. I really appreciate you guys joining me for today's video, and I will talk to you soon for another one here on our growing channel.